welcome to another Big Bang. Where have you been? To an all-night Bishop and Film Stars party. Was it fancy dress? Yes. Oh. On today's show... We'll be showing you how to make a cool kaleidoscope out of a pair of cheap sunglasses. Flying a giant kite made out of drinking straws and paper. And revealing the strange but true story of peas in space. How do astronauts go to the toilet in zero gravity? But first, a peas in space trick. Run away! No, not that kind of pea. This kind of pea is proper peas. Can you turn this bucket upside down without the peas all falling out? Easy. This is a comedy bucket. You've rigged it. They're all glued in. Give it! Possibly here. not. OK, I'll put some more feet. Right. Do you want me to show you how to do it? Mm, all right, then. I'll tell you what, actually, if you can turn that bucket upside down without there being another terrible pea disaster, I will fly my hat. OK, my clerical friend. <laughs> Done. Right, you simply get a piece of string and tie it round the handle of the bucket. Yes. Find an open space. Take cover! Swing and twirl. Well, hey, well done, but um, Peely's XB Lane. Well, the bucket's holding the peas in, even when it's upside down. The peas are trying to fall out, but the bucket's swinging faster than the peas can fall. Gravity just hasn't got the grab to pull them out. OK, I concede defeat. Therefore, I'm going to have to fly my hat. Something I will do before the end of the programme. Got an itch in your nose, Ernest? You need to sturtutate. That's right, you need to sneeze. Try watching someone sneeze. You can see them, but they won't see you. When you sneeze, it's impossible to keep your eyes open. A sneeze can sometimes occur at a tricky moment. If you catch it, you can stop it by pinching the end of your nose. or by biting the end of your tongue. You've got to be pretty quick to catch a sneeze, as the air can travel from your nose up to 300 kilometers an hour. Violet, what are you doing? I'm um, trying on sunglasses for your kaleidoscope thingy. Ah, well, they may be very cool and groovy, but they're actually no good for my gizmo. What you need is a pair of these really cheap clip-on polarising sunglasses, because these are very easy to cut up and make into this fantastic kaleidoscope gizmo. Go on, have a look through that. Mm -hmm. Hold it up to the window mm -hmm. and tell me what you can see. Oh, wow, it's brilliant. It's like jewels. A kaleidoscope like this is dead easy to make. Come over here and I'll show you. The first thing you need to do is to separate your two lenses like that and then cut those lenses into circles. Now, if you're not very good with sharp knives or a sharp scissors, get someone who is to do that for you. Now, you'll then need a pair of plastic glasses, big ones like this, pint size are the best, and cut a hole in the bottom of both of your glasses, which is a little bit smaller than the lens that you've just cut out. Then, pop the lens on top of that hole and tape it in position. Do that twice and you've got these things. Now, you'll need some clear plastic. I find the best place to get clear plastic from is a bit of packaging and um, you cut a circle of clear plastic out of that. And then this is the important bit. Take that circle and cover it with sticky tape. Loads of layers of sticky tape going in every direction. Then simply pop that circle of sticky tape clear plastic into the bottom of one of your glasses, pop the other glass on top, hold it up to the light or perhaps a window and rotate one cup inside the other and you should see fantastic colours and patterns. But where do the patterns come from? There are no mirrors or coloured paper or anything. Don't need mirrors. Don't need colour paper. This is the world's first taperscope. Sticky tape isn't pretty. It depends on how you look at it. You see, white light is actually made up of all the colours of the rainbow. And you've got rays wiggling like waves in absolutely every direction. But the polarising lens straightens up those waves so they're all going in the same direction. And then the sticky tape 
twist those waves. And it's that twist that gives you all the colours. How very enlightening. Roger, Mercury, uh, you're looking good. Today's strange but true story is about the problem astronauts face when they spend a long time in a spacesuit. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, Roger, Mercury, this is Mission Control. What is the nature of your problem? I need to visit the little astronaut's room. Can you believe it? $25 million space budget and no one put a toilet in the capsule. Roger, Mercury, uh, we got our best brains are working on it right away. The first space flights only lasted about 15 minutes, so there was no need to put a toilet on board. But the launch of one of the early Mercury missions was delayed and astronaut Alan Shepard needed to go for a wee. Mission Control decided they had to let him go in his suit. Did you uh, hear that, Mercury? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Mission Control. The Apollo moon missions lasted over a week, but NASA was now onto the problem, and they designed the ingenious UCD. Brilliant. Now I won't have to use this hot water bottle and hose. I'm uh, sorry, Apollo. That is the uh, UCD. UCD stands for Urine Collecting Device, and it was simply strapped to the astronaut's leg inside his spacesuit. Number one mission was successfully completed, but number two mission was a much bigger job. To try and prevent a number two mission, astronauts were given very small meals with no roughage in them. Is that it? When the astronauts did actually have to go, this is what they used. The sticky tape and the Ziploc were absolutely essential because of the problems of zero gravity. Great idea for when you're safe in your module, but what about on the surface of the moon? They used one of these, a specially developed giant nappy, essential equipment worn by every single one of NASA's brave moon explorers. The Eagle has landed. When Apollo 11's lunar module touched down on the moon, the giant nappies came in handy. The astronauts had been too busy working to worry about going to the loo. Buzz Aldrin was the second man to walk on the moon, and he was the first to fill his pants. Today's shuttle missions can last anything up to two weeks, so now NASA has developed the space toilet. Yeah, tell me more, Houston, tell me more. They can't use water to flush the space toilet. That would be too dangerous aboard the space shuttle. So instead, a fan sucks the material into a sealed compartment, and later it's released into space. For hygiene reasons, each astronaut, both male and female, have to have their own special adapter. So if you ever wondered how astronauts managed to boldly go when no one had boldly gone before, now you know. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Violet. Thank you. What is it? Come outside, we'll fly it. I'll get me coat. This is perfect. This is very cold and windy, Violet. Hold that. You? Right, now let go. Hey! hey. It's a kite, then. Hey, well spotted. It's actually called a tetrahedral kite. I made it with the straws, some kite string, and one of those light thermally blanket things. It's great because you put all the little pyramids together and you get a great big kite. 
a big kite. Now there's an idea. Hey, Violet. Now that's what I call a big kite. Very impressive, but it'll never fly. The straws won't be strong enough. Well, come here and hold this line. Right. I've actually reinforced the straws with a bit of wood, and this'll definitely fly, I think. OK, Violet, go! Yahoo! It flies! This is fantastic! That reminds me of my bucket of peas. Gareth, I've just had a really good idea. Oh? So what you're saying is, even if I do a barrel roll and I turn completely upside down, the water won't fall out of this bottle? That's right, exactly like my peas in the bucket earlier. Yes, Violet, exactly the same. Don't worry, Gareth, you'll be fine. Right, Gareth is strapped to the wing of the plane. The plan is to get enough height and speed to do a barrel roll. This will be a bit like swinging a large bucket of peas. When Gareth swings upside down, the water should stay in the bottle. When the plane's flying upside down, the water's trying to fall out of the bottle, but the plane's falling faster than the water, so it won't have a chance to soak Gareth. OK, time for the barrel roll. Success! Violet! <laughs> it worked! I didn't lose any water! Well done. Now what? Um, this time do a loop. OK, and the water won't fall out? No. I don't think so, anyway. I knew Gareth would be OK with the barrel roll, but the loop's quite a bit riskier. It's OK if he does a small, tight loop, but if the pilot does a large, slow loop, then the plane's going quite a bit slower at the top, which gives the water a chance to fall out of the bottle. Here we go. Great, the tight loop works. But what about the slower loop? Aha, just as I predicted, a wet Gareth. I think it's time for a victory roll. Oh, That's all we've got time for today on the uh, Big Bang. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You've got to fly your hat. Uh, we haven't got time for all that. Oh, yes, we have. Come on, Jonesy, get your hat off and start flying it. All right. Well, actually, this hat is quite like a plane. Yeah, right. You don't believe me, do you? Mm -mm. Watch this. Ready? Hey, hey, how about that? Wow! It flew! It, it really did fly! Yes, and the reason it flew is it's like a plane, like I said. This section gives you the lift, it works like a wing. The fact that it's curved keeps it stable, and these folds at the front makes it heavy. So uh, it's very important for a plane to be heavy at the front. This is how you make one. Follow what I do, oh, right? Okay. Fold along the long edge. Right. Just a few centimetres. Pretty easy so far. Yeah, okay, now this is the tricky bit. You ready? Mm -hmm. You fold it again. <laughs> okay. And then you curve it round on itself mm -hmm. and tuck these end bits into each other like that. Mm. Make sure that it's nice and round. Yeah, it's and look, and it's easy to carry as well. Oh, <laughs> can I come to your next bishop's party then? Only if both these hats fly. Right, you have yours back. <laughs> OK. Let's see who made the best hat. All can right. Go the Three, oh, really? two, one. Yes! No, 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 I think it's a true There's lots more tricks and makes in the Big Bang book, out now.